Hey, Shalom. I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rachak Wadash. I'm going to give double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutation to the Akim, to the elect, scattered across the four corners of the earth, pushing his truth and faith and in sincerity. All right, I'm going to give you And you know, basically, I'm going to go into that. You know, the Most High has the chosen people. All right, and the Most High chose Israel, the Israelites, which are the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, above all people. All right, those are his, his favorite people. We are his favorite people. All right, above all nations. And he is only our power. He's only our God. All right. He only has love for us, his people, the Israelites, which only consists of the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Nobody else. And I will get the scriptures to prove that. All right. This is Exodus 4 and 22. It says, And thou shalt say unto Pharaoh, Thus said Yahweh, Israel is my son. Even my firstborn. Alright. It says Israel is my son. Even my firstborn. Alright. Israel. Which is talking about the Israelites. Alright. Because Jacob. Jacob's name was changed. Unto Israel. Alright. In Genesis. Which means the prince of the power. Alright. Yashua Allah. Alright. So when you see Israel. It's not just talking about. Jacob. You know. Just that one man. It's talking about the people. Alright. The descendants of Jacob. All right. It says Israel is my son, even my firstborn. All right. It says that Israel was the firstborn of the Most High. All right. Yahweh, which is the true name of God. All right. The true name of the Most High. It said Israel was his firstborn. Now, when the father has a firstborn, you know, your firstborn son, all right, you're going you gonna to love your son. You're going to have love out of this of this world for your son. Alright? Your son is gonna mean a lot to you. And that's how the most high looks upon Israel. Right, he said we're his firstborn. Alright, this is um this is Deuteronomy seven. Deuteronomy seven and six. It says, For thou art in holy people unto Yahweh thy power. All right, and holy means separate. All right, the Hebrew word for holy is kodash. All right, kodash. All right, it says sacred. Well, so like you, Strong's number eight six nine one eight kodash, and it says sacred, holy, holy one, saint, set apart. All right. Set apart, separate. I right, says that we are an holy people unto Yahweh thy power. Yahweh thy power had chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Alright? So he said we are an holy people, which means separate. Alright, we are separate from every other nation on this planet. Alright? We are separate from everybody. We're not equal. I right, said the most high Yahweh. All right, it says that we are a special people, all right, unto himself. He looks at us like we are special. All right, he chose us, he says, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. All right, so any other nation that are outside of the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, they are under us. The Most High has set us above them. Okay? That's how the Most High looks at Israel, the Israelites, all right? This is uh, Deuteronomy 10 and 15. It says, Only Yahweh had delight in thy fathers to love them, and he chose their seed after them. All right, which is talking about Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. All right, he chose the seed after them. Okay. And it says, Only Yahweh had a delight in thy fathers to love them, and he chose their seed after them. Even you 
above all people as it is this day. So we are above all people unto this day. All right, still. All right, the most I said it back then, it still applies unto this day. All right. These nations are still less than us. We are princes of the power. Yashar Allah. All right. Yah meaning he. Shar meaning prince. And Allah means power. All right. Princes of the power. Okay. And these other nations were created to be our servants. All right. That's all that they're supposed to be here for. To serve us. Okay. This is uh, Joel 2. Joel 2 and 27. It says, And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am Yahweh, your power, and none else. And my people shall never be ashamed. All right, it says that I am Yahweh, your power, and none else. So the Most High is our God, all right? our power. He's not the God of any any other nation. Alright. Only only we belong unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. Okay? Only us. So all these other nations, you know, they're they're worshiping the most high. Well, they're not actually worshiping the most high, but they say God loves everybody. You know, and that Jesus Christ is coming back. For everybody, all right. Well, Jesus Christ is not his real name; it's Yahweh in the Hebrew, all right. But this scripture proves right here that that's not true. All right, he only has love for the Israelites and has only chosen the Israelites. All right. He said he's only the God of them, not everybody. Because a lot of people like to like to throw around. The phrase, my God, my God, you know, not my God. All right. Well, Jake, Jake really say that, but, you know, but people like to like to take on to the most high. As that's their power. All right. These other nations. All right. But in this scripture, he clearly stated that he's only the God of Israel. All right. And none else. All right, this is um, Second Ezra six. In fifty four, it says, and after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all. So, yeah, everybody does come from Adam. All right. It says, and the people also whom thou hast chosen. So hold up. It just made a separation. It says that we all come from Adam and the people whom thou hast chosen. All right. So the chosen people are separate from the rest of the people that came out of Adam. And who are that chosen people? Which I just... Which it, which it already stated in Deuteronomy 7 and 6. All right. But I'm going to get Psalms. One thirty-five And 4. It says, For Yahweh had chosen Jacob unto himself and Israel for his pe peculiar treasure. And like I said, Jacob represents the Israelites as a whole. All right, Jacob's name was changed unto Israel. All right, so the Most High said he has chosen the Israelites. All right, now let's go back to that scripture. Second Ezra six and fifty four. It says, and after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all, all right, all nations come out of Adam, and the people whom thou hast chosen, the Israelites, all right, yeah, we all come from Adam, it's like everybody like to say, everybody come from Adam, everybody came from one person, 
but it just made a separation. All right. It says, all this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou made the world for our sakes. So even the world was made for the Israelites' sakes. All right. No other people. It says, as for the other people, which also come of Adam, these other nations, all right, your Chinese, your Japanese, your Caucasians, your Arabs, your East Indians, all right, your Africans, which we are not Africans, we are the Hebrew Israelites, all right, people like to still put us under that category, all right, or under that well, they like to call us Africans. All right. It says, Thou hast said that they are nothing, but be like unto spittle. So the Most High has said that these nations are nothing. They are nothing unto him, but they like spit. All right. Those are harsh words for a God that loves everybody. He said that the other nations are like spit. Come on, bro. It says it has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. All right, so if you got a, a bucket of water, all right, and one drop falls from that bucket, are you going to start crying, you know, stressing, worrying about that one drop that fell from the bucket? No. All right. It's just one drop. And that's and that's what the most is comparing the other nations unto. That little drop that fell from the bucket. Alright. And this is uh Isaiah. Isaiah chapter thirty-four. It says, all nations before him are as nothing, and they are come to him less than nothing and vanity. All right, so not only does the Most High think that you other nations are nothing, he said less than nothing. So you're not shit, bro. The Israelites are above all people, all right, and the Most High will make that known again in the earth. All right, in the days to come. Okay? Because the only reason the Israelites are in the condition they're in now are because they broke the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. All right, and we have to pay for that. All right, and we are paying for it now, but the time is almost up. All right? This, 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 our captivity is almost up. The Most High is going to send his son, Yahweh Shah. To come and save the hopeful elect. Alright. This is second Ezra. Uh, five. And in, in twenty three, it says, And said, O Lord, that bears rule of every wood of the earth. And of all the trees thereof, thou hast chosen thee only one vine. Alright? And it says, And of all the lands of the whole world, thou hast chosen thee one pit. Alright? And that's the land of Israel. Alright? And I will get that. And uh, this is uh, Deuteronomy 11, verse 12. I start at. 11. But the land where ye go to possess it is a land of hills and valleys and drinking water of the rain of heaven. A land which Yahweh thy power careth for. The eyes of Yahweh thy power are always upon it from the beginning of the year even until the end of the year. Alright, so the Most High cares about the land of Israel. Alright. And basically, the chapter in 2 Nedrus, you know. The fifth chapter, that's basically going to the Most High has favors, all right? Just like you have favors. You have a favorite color. You have a favorite song, a favorite movie, all right? 
favorite shoes or whatever. The Most High has favors also, and it is going unto his favors. All right, it says, And of all the flowers thereof, one lily. And of all the depths of the sea, thou hast filled thee, one river. And of all the builded cities, thou hast hollowed Zion unto thyself. And of all the fowls that are created, thou hast named thee, one dove. And of all the cattle that are made, thou hast provided thee one sheep. And among all the multitudes of people, thou hast gotten thee one people. And unto this people whom thou lovest, thou gavest a law that is approved of all. Alright, so it says, among all the nations on the earth, Everybody outside of the Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right. The Lord, the Most High, Yahweh, has chosen them to be His people out of everybody. All right. So the Most High is only the God of Israel. He only loves Israel. And He set them to be above all people that are on this planet, that are on the planet Earth, all right? You know, and with that, you know, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Chakradash, and only the devil honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and salutation to Yaakim and to the elect across the four corners of the earth, pushing the truth and face of sincerity. Shalom.